Hey guys, today we are going to be talking all about my theories that I took away from the new spoilers that we received yesterday from Gloob. And so as always, before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. Now, let's get into it. So the first spoiler that we had received is that Hawk Moth will finally get hold of the Miraculous in Season 4. Now although it wasn't specified which Miraculous he will be getting, I assume the Miraculous they're talking about is Ladybug and Cat Noirs. And so as soon as I saw this spoiler, I instantly thought of Bunnix. And the reason being because if we go back to the episode Time Tagger in Season 3, she states that she's called upon when everyone fails. In including Ladybug and Cat Noir. Could this finally be the episode where we see Alex receive her miraculous? I mean, going back to this classic spoiler that shows Alia, Luca, and Alex, Alia and Luca now both know the identities of Ladybug, and we can already confirm that Alex will one day learn too. And guys, you'd have to imagine who and how strong the villain would have to be to be able to successfully get Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous once and for all. Now, it was also never specified which episodes these spoilers are coming from, but I have a feeling that this one could be in episode 22, which is the 100th episode, or possibly even the season 4 finale. As in the synopsis, it states, but to what extent will she reveal her secret identity for the sake of love, and will Adrian take the risk of finally confronting his father? For one, I definitely think we will be seeing Adrian fight back and rebel against Gabriel in the finale, and if that's the case, and Adrian ends up not going on the trip with Lila, Lila's still there. This could be the moment of which Gabriel realizes just how worthy and powerful Lila can be with the miraculous. Mind you, the season 4 finale name is Shadow Moth's Last Attack, which I believe to most likely be foreshadowing to the fact that in the future and or this finale and season 5, there will be a new holder of the Peacock Miraculous, and that this will be the last time we see Gabriel unify Nuru and Dusu. But at the same time, considering she wouldn't have obtained her adult powers, I'm curious to see how this battle would play out because I think majority of us can agree that Lila will be the next Hawk Moth and or Butterfly Miraculous holder, or it could be vice versa and she obtains the power of the Peacock Miraculous, while somebody else like Felix could get the Butterfly Miraculous, or even Gabriel could continue to use the Butterfly Miraculous and fight alongside with Lila. Another thing that's come to my mind is will this be somewhat of an identity reveal? Because if Cat Noir doesn't have his miraculous, Ladybug doesn't have her miraculous, they're going to be in their civilian forms. We've seen how close Adrian and Marinette were to revealing their secret identities to one another in Optigami because they had no choice at that point. And this is just another one of those scenarios. And guys, notice how it says, Hawk Moth. Not Shadow Moth, but Hawk Moth. Which means that somebody else is going to be using the Peacock Miraculous. And I don't think it's going to be Natalie. All season, we have seen how ill Natalie has become to the point where she has been in bed almost every episode. And so if Natalie's not going to be using it, who's Gabriel's next closest and trusted person? Lila. Whoever ends up getting to use the Peacock Miraculous in this episode, if it's not Natalie, most likely will also be the person in the episode Gabriel Aggress to have found out Gabriel's identity, which again, I believe will be Lila. But let's also not forget Felix. We haven't seen him all season. And considering Gabriel doesn't like him, he can't deny the fact that Felix is a mischievous and clever person and could only benefit him in battles. And so with that being said, I really feel like it's between the two, Lila or Felix, who's going to be getting the Peacock Miraculous in this episode to use. And also, I doubt Gabriel is going to have the Miraculous permanently, especially if Bunnix is going to be in this episode. Plus, we've also had up to season 7 confirmed. So with that being said, in the end, 
Ladybug and Cat Noir will get their miraculous back, but I'm curious to see how long he has them and what he ends up doing with them. And so the other spoiler that we had received was for again an unnamed episode. However, the focus of this episode is that Marinette's parents are going to get akumatized. And not only that, but Marinette's not going to be able to transform because Tiki is going out of control. Now, we've seen Tom get akumatized before into Wear Dad, but we've never actually seen Sabine get akumatized before. And the only time she ever got close to fully becoming akumatized was because of Marinette's doing. After Lila had placed her necklace into Marinette's locker and tricked everyone, including Marinette's parents, to believe that Marinette had stolen her necklace, Sabine was so shocked and disappointed in Marinette to the point where she almost got akumatized. And so with that being said, while it could be possible for Sabine and or Tom to get akumatized because possibly Marinette keeps making excuses to see them or by accidentally messes up one of the pastries, I highly doubt that will be the reason because again, the fact Sabine is also going to be akumatized, she has so much patience. I mean, in the episode Bafana, she literally had to remake the cake four times because Tom kept throwing it in the trash can. But my point being, I think this is all gonna happen because of something that Lila does. Lila's plans have always focused on targeting Marinette and we haven't heard from Lila all season. That is not normal. Someone who's sitting that quiet in the back of the classroom, you know she's up to no good. Now, what would it be that Lila sets up? I don't know, but I definitely think Marinette's parents could be akumatized by something that Marinette does. And guys, I am not gonna lie, when this script seemed so confusing at first, because it is so unlikely to see Tiki behaving the way that she is in this episode, but after Plague goes, it looks like Tiki is a little bit addicted to candies again, I guess that means that Tiki's weakness is candy? But I don't think this is just any candy. We've seen Tiki have macaroons and cookies, and so part of me feels like is that this candy is not just any kind of candy, but perhaps when you eat it, it plays with your imagination and your brain to make you to continue to eat more and just turn into the complete opposite of yourself. And also guys, this episode is most likely gonna focus a lot on Cat Noir because as we can see, Marinette cannot transform her parents are akumatized. And again, Plague even goes to say, you don't need to worry. There's a reason you have a Kwame of destruction. Let's go, Adrian, transform. So while we're gonna get to see Cat Noir without his lady there, I'm questioning if people such as Rina and other Miraculous holders are going to be called on, and if we're gonna get to see Marinette use a completely different Miraculous. But you guys, for the most part, this episode is screaming Mary Shat to me, and I am just so excited for every episode to come moving forward and to see Tiki use her power of creation on her own. But as always, what do you guys think? We currently do not have any new episode dates. However, this Saturday, August 14th, we are getting the episode Mega Leech in English from Disney USA, and I have a feeling we could be getting news on new episodes this week but as always i will let you guys know as soon as we get the info and tomorrow i will be going live at 11 a.m eastern time to chat and unbox the culture fly shanghai miraculous box so as always be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love and i'll see you guys in the next one